Yo, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the end of One Division episode 5. If you have not seen the episode, obviously, spoilers in this video. So, if you have not seen the episode, click away, go watch it, then come back to this video to see what we're going to be talking about. So, let's talk about that ending, shall we? Evan Peters reveals himself as Quicksilver. Now, at first, I'm not going to lie, they showed the back of his head and the silver hair. I thought it was going to be Aaron Taylor Johnson coming back to play Quicksilver. But then we did obviously get those rumors that Evan Peters was meant to be showing up in this show. And in fact, he did as Quicksilver. Now, many were rumoring that he could be playing Mephisto and not Quicksilver. But it turns out he's playing Quicksilver. Now, whether he's from the X-Men universe is a different question. Now, let's discuss the different possibilities of who Evan Peters could be playing. And is he actually Quicksilver or what Quicksilver is he? So, the first option that we've got on the table is that Evan Peters is playing the MCU Quicksilver. Now, the option here is obviously we know that Darcy said that they recast the MCU Quicksilver, meaning that Wanda obviously just got a different person to play the role of Quicksilver in her fantasy TV land, meaning that obviously her real brother is actually dead and she's pretending that someone else is Quicksilver, that being Evan Peters. And obviously Evan Peters being cast in that role could be just a little reference to the fact that he played Quicksilver in the X-Men Fox universe. However, I do think this is the least likely option because if they were going to cast anyone, why cast the person who played Quicksilver in the X-Men universe to play him as a fake decoy in the One Division series. You wouldn't cast Evan Peters just to be playing a fake Quicksilver. No, you wouldn't do that. So let's look at option two. The next option is probably my most hyped option, and I think that this could be quite likely. However, I do think there's one that is more likely than this one, is the fact that Evan Peters could actually be the Quicksilver from the Fox universe. Now, we do know that it is confirmed. One Division is going to set up this multiverse trilogy for the MCU, that being One Division, Spider-Man 3, and then Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, in which we do know Wanda does show up in Doctor Strange 2, and Doctor Strange does show up in Spider-Man 3. So it all does interconnect and intertwine. They're all about the multiverse in some kind of capacity. So it is in the realm of possibility that somehow Wanda, through her magic and through all of the manipulation she's been doing, on the town that she could have accidentally somehow already opened a gate to the multiverse bringing in these different characters. Now we know that everyone in the town is under Wanda's control. Now if Wanda did almost somehow accidentally open a gaping hole in the multiverse and the X-Men characters from the Fox universe did actually come through, then if they did reside in the town that Wanda and Vision are staying in, it is very likely that whoever is in that town will be under Wanda's control. Meaning that even if this is Evan Peters from the Fox universe, the reason why Evan Peters' version of Quicksilver doesn't remember who he is and isn't confused to what's actually going on, like who is this, who's Wanda, who's Vision, what is this place, is because if he is in the town, then he will be under Wanda's mind control, just like the rest of the people in there as well, which would make a lot of sense. So he could still be from the Fox universe as far as we know. Now, the third and final option, which I think is probably going to be the most likely option and is still pretty exciting, is that we know that Evan Peters was rumored to be playing Mephisto in this series. So it's still very likely that Evan Peters showing up could be playing Mephisto. Now, let's look at the evidence and the facts and the figures. Now, if you do remember at the end of the episode, Wanda did actually say to Vision that she wasn't controlling the doorbell, even though Wanda is actually controlling everything in the town. Vision was like, stop it, Wanda. And then Wanda was like, I did not do that. And the only other person apart from Vision who could most likely resist Wanda's mind control abilities is, you guessed it, Mephisto. And we already know there's been plenty of references to Mephisto so far throughout the series, like through Agnes and through other characters and little nitpicks here and there. It's not out the realm of possibility that Mephisto could bring back and or disguise himself as Pietro. Now, the only problem with this theory is that if he was going to disguise himself and or bring himself back as Pietro to scare Wanda or whatever his plan is to do with Wanda, then he would definitely bring himself back as the Aaron Taylor Johnson version of Pietro because that version is the one that grew up with Wanda. That is the one that connects more to Wanda. However, it did seem at the end of the episode that Wanda did recognize who it was. So at the end of the day, I don't really know what's going on. No one really knows what's going on. There's multiple options. There's multiple theories that all have solid evidence and backstory. It just depends on which one Marvel is going to go down. But with that being said, let me know in the comments below. What did you think of the episode? And also, who do you think that that Pietro is? Do you think he's the one from the Fox universe? Do you think he's just a simple recast for the TV show? 
or do you think it could be linked to Mephisto or some kind of Wanda manipulation? Tell me your theories in the comments below. I want to hear all from you guys. And also, you can click the link in the description to the Discord server where we talk all WandaVision and Spider-Man stuff and all Marvel stuff, really. So if you want to continue the conversation over there, go in the description, go on the Discord, and let's get on there and let's continue the conversation. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you have not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell next to the subscribe button to not miss any more content. As soon as it gets released, we're posting all the WandaVision stuff over here as well. As well as Spider-Man stuff and all things Marvel. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.